once again, sorry again. So once again, with work, after a day of basically putting my foot down and telling them how it is and how I feel on this matter, or in any matter, that I'm basically getting screwed around again. Before getting ready for work, I see I have a text notifying me that the schedule's gone up for next week. And some of the hours are quite, what the fuck? Like tomorrow, I'm working nine till four. Why? Because they think giving me more hours is good enough as it is. But here's the problem. They put my schedule down so it's like, oh, you get, you're in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then, off Wednesday, Thursday, and then back in Friday, Saturday. Now, I want you to take this into consideration. A couple of weeks back, or a couple of months back, I requested and was approved on that my work availability would be I can work any day of the week, including the weekend, but I request Tuesday, Wednesday off. And I feel as though now they are pulling my leg because simply, once again, they're just pulling me into work on days off in which I have told them, I have specifically said, I am not willing to work. This is my work availability. It is in writing, it is there, black and white, clear as crystal. I will not work Tuesday and Wednesdays. And yet here we are, they're still scheduling me on days off in which I, and I alone, do not want to work and it's getting beyond the joke because they've already shisted me and they screwed me over with this week gone by having me only having one and I'll count it one day off and I come in for the days in which I did not want to come in fair enough it's apparently a bit more money but it's not enough and I'll say this now I'm getting paid $12.50 an hour $12.50 an hour after talking with my boss the other day and having a phone call, they turn around and say, oh, I'm going to try and see if I can uh, get you that pay raise. Because I did say, I deserve more. You're giving me all this work and all these hours and stuff because we're short staff and everything. And here we are, not getting more than what we deserve. And even they said as well, oh, well, your yearly your annual review is coming up, so we're more than happy to talk there and talk about our pay raise. But still, we have had nothing. They are a week behind on giving me my review. And it is beyond the joke now where I'm thinking, I'm working, I'm doing all of this stuff, I am working, I am walking the floor, I am walking back and forth to work, I am basically getting pains in my feet in which when I get home I am just dead, I collapse on the floor from exhaustion, and I'm still getting paid 12 50 an hour part fucking time absolutely beyond a joke and even now as my new apparent new position of front lead support do I get a promotion for that not a promotion a pay raise just a little bit no all I get is a key I get keys I get codes to override if need be for registers and stuff and that's it. I get nothing else. Just more responsibility for the same goddamn pay. I know I rant about work now, but this is beyond a joke with them. Again, just one request, one request, and they can't even hold that right. And I'm gonna go in, and if they say to me, oh, well, we need you in because we're training a new person that day, we need you to train them and stuff. Unacceptable. Totally and simply unacceptable. I will not condone to that because you did not come to me, you did not contact me to say, hey, would you be willing to come in on Tuesday instead to help train someone? I may have said yes. I would be a little bit pissed that you have me pulled in on the day off, but I will be a little bit pissed. 
and like I am right now, where you basically willy-nilly put me in on a day in which I have clearly stated no. And it's back to that situation I feel I'm being taken for granted because you can't find the help. People today don't want to fucking work. They'd rather sit in their asses and earn unemployment checks and just basically treat us like shit. That is where I'm drawing the line. And again, I'm going into work, I'm putting my foot down. I'll be asking for the switch in the shift as I've requested. And if they don't do anything, I will be asking them why. And on the authority then as well to say, this is bang out of order. As I said, I'm willing to give my manager the benefit of the doubt, his time, a couple of weeks to fix this. And they said, oh, it could be a couple of months and stuff. No, a couple of weeks, you told me. You told me a couple of weeks and this is where I'm seeing it as. And if this is not done within a couple of weeks and it's not sorted or dealt with, then my resume is going out. And it's not a threat before they even say I'm threatening them. It's not a threat because a threat would be I would do some harm to you. The only harm I will do is known to the fact that you have lost someone who has been respected. Someone who has been willing to come in and help you out when you can't lift your finger up yourself. Someone that's been willing to be more helpful to the customers than they have. No more. No fucking more. It's basically another work day done. Talked to the boss. Told him and expressed my own matters on the issue and he got pissed off. Somewhat pissed off. Just had to be done because apparently his boss, his boss is coming down and he had to make it look so good and everyone's working on truck and there. I just said I'll be willing to do it this week, but please, I'm asking nicely. Plus, I've been going through a couple of things tonight, which I hope some of my friends are doing all right. One in particular, in which I quite started going feelings for. I'll be happy to talk about it now. Um, before anyone asks, me and Chris are totally fine. We are wonderful. We love each other so much. And then Chris, he's kind of come to a, the consideration that he's identified as gender fluid, which I'm totally fine with. Me, I'm so gay. Just at the same time, started talking to someone within the TARDIS family in which they had admitted that they had feelings for me and we started talking and I in return have had feelings for as well. So I sat down with Chris, discussed the situation and we kind of come to a conclusion that we are in a polyamorous relationship. And it's kind of funny to say that out loud. I don't know if I would ever say that on here. So yeah, polyamorous, homosexual. <laughs> and this guy I'm talking to he is so wonderful and nice. We talk, I mean, long distance. I know, I'm really having my luck with long distance relationships. But tonight, they felt so conflicted and stuff, they had to step away and work on their own opinions. So for the next couple of days I won't be able to talk to them and I'm not gonna lie, it really sucks. But I respect the wishes and see what happens. I mean I need to get some sleep. I mean nine till four tomorrow. So I need to get some sleep up. I'm gonna have some dirt and ice cream and just watch some YouTube and then go to bed. Yeah, that's a bit of a bombshell to drop on there tonight. <laughs> yes, 
I love my husband a bit, I really do. Chris means the world to me. And this guy... So does he. And I don't want to lose either one of them. Not one. Either one of them in my life, I love. I love them both. There's something new with me, isn't there? And even right at the end, there's still some twists. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand spanking new day, and hopefully, let's see what happens.